ghosty little ghosty wait are you still asleep oh you are aren't you <laughs> look at you gently rising and falling through the mattress on each breath as you sleep <laughs> sleeping ghosts are just so adorable you all like to use the furniture, but you don't really need to. Still, it's three in the afternoon now. I really need to get you up, ghosty. I can't have you haunting my house, making noise while I'm trying to sleep at night myself. Hmm. Wake up, sleepyhead. Wake up, little ghosty. It's three in the afternoon already. You need to rise and shine. Oh, you're already awake. Hmm? Hey, what's wrong? Don't play dead with me. Are... are you feeling alright? No? Oh, hey, it's okay. I understand. We all feel bad sometimes. And you've been going through a lot, haven't you? Here. Hmm, I'm sure it's nothing a bowl of nice warm cocoa can't fix, is it? How about that? Come on, let's get you up and... Huh? What... Was it something I said? Are... Are you crying? What's the matter? You haven't cried like this since I found you. Hey, hey. Come here. Come on. Let me give you a hug. Something has obviously got you quite distressed. Here, just relax for a little bit. Hug me and try to breathe with me. It will do you some good. Ready? Whatever it is that has upset you, it can't hurt you here. You're with me now. So relax. Feel free to let those tears keep coming out and tell me what's going on. Hmm. I see. So you've had a letter from the priest. Well, good. Oh, wait. I guess it wasn't that good then? Hmm. He's found out who you were in your former life, then I take it. And that means he has told you how you died and everything. Uh, I keep telling him he should approach these matters more gently. Share information with you bit by bit. But he always insists telling you ghost everything at once is the right approach. <sighs> I'm so sorry, dear. Come here. I know this all sucks, little ghost. I know what the other ghosts have described to me. You just had all those bad memories of your former self rushing back to you. 
your death, all the traumatic experiences. But I'm here for you now. You will get through this. Little one, I want you to know that whatever pain you are feeling right now, it is because of things that are long in the past. And you're not in the past, are you, little one? You're here with me now. You are in the present. You are being hugged by someone that cares for you right now. Focus on my arms wrapped around you. Listen to my heartbeat through my chest. That is where you are now, ghosty. You are here. You are safe. You see, what has happened really was in another life for you, little one. Now, it is just a memory. Just a fragment in your mind you tense up over. We all have those. They are a part of you as well. But you don't need to suffer needlessly, little one. I am here to remind you you can turn to me should your memories overwhelm you, okay? <sighs> Be honest with me. I think you would have rather known than not, right? Okay, that's good. You're being very brave right now. <sighs> Hug me as much as you like, little one. I'll wipe away those little ghost tears for you. We will deal with your past self in good time, I promise. Everything will come together. I promise you that. You don't have to talk about them right away. We will take this one step at a time. How do you feel now? Could I pat those tears away? Hmm. Good. There is an endless supply of these, so don't be shy to ask for more. You're such a brave ghost. I want to show you something, my dear. You're going to love this. This will help cheer you right up. It's a gift for you. Close your eyes. Uh-uh, no peeking. Okay, you can open them now. Ta-da! <laughs> what? You don't remember what this is? It's a pumpkin, silly. <laughs> I grow them outside of the graveyard. This one was a late grower. It's only just now ripened up. You can roast them, turn them into soup, make them into a delicious pie. But by far the most fun thing is what I wanted to do with you. I'd like to carve this one with you. Yes, you know, carve a face into it and put a light inside. I've already carved so many, I place them all together on the hill by the trees. That's actually where I found you. Didn't you notice them then? It's okay. You were worried about other things that day. 
But come on now, ghosty. It's time you've carved your pumpkin. This is a great opportunity to show me how well you can hold on to objects now. Now I've already taken the liberty of taking out the insides. I use those seeds to plant the ones for next year. But I want you to carve a face into this pumpkin for me to practice your skills. You've been getting really good already. I'm so happy with the progress that you've been making. You already have no trouble helping yourself to all the milk and cocoa you like. And if you practice a bit more, I'm sure you will have no trouble holding a pen for a longer period of time as well. Only practice makes perfect, so I thought what's a better way to teach a ghost how to use tools than to hand them a deadly weapon and tell them to stab a face into something. <laughs> I'm kidding, you'll do fine without hurting me. And you obviously don't have to worry about stabbing yourself since you're a ghost. Here, take this carving knife. Uh, let's try that again. Focus on your hand first, and make sure it's nice and dense. Then it won't pass through it. There you go. Good. Do you feel like you have a firm grasp on it? Okay, you can start with the mouth in that case. You'll want to cut a big crescent shape at the bottom for that. That's it. You can cut some teeth into the mouth as well. If you slip up, don't worry. It's meant to look a bit scruffy. You can take any slip as an opportunity to give you an extra tooth or a scar. Hey, not bad. You made that pretty easy. I see you're moving on to the eyes now. Very good. That already looks great. You're quite a little artist, aren't you? When you are done, you can claim some head pats as a reward. <laughs> you know, I like to give all of my pumpkins some eyebrows. It gives them character and brings their face to life. Do you want to give some to this one so he'll fit in with his family? That looks great. Quite the mischievous pumpkin you've made. Okay, I promised you a reward for that, didn't I? Here you go, little one. I don't think we should leave our new pumpkin friend all by himself, though. How about we take it for a walk to meet its pumpkin family up on the hill? Sounds good, doesn't it? Oh, but first we need to add a light inside. Here we go. Now it can shine together with the others. Come on, little ghosty. Let's take it up on the hill. Here we are. 
I'm quite proud of my little pumpkin family I've assembled this year. Don't they look cute, all together on the hill gazing off into the night? You can take the pumpkin now, place it here with the others. Be careful you don't drop our friend though and make sure your hands are dense enough first. Hang on, do you see that? I think there's something over there. Wait a second, that's another ghost. Yes, by the bushes, can't you see? I think they've seen us. They're just too shy to come over. Okay, little ghosty. You know what a delicate situation that this is. This one has clearly just appeared as well. I want you to stay by my side and show them that it doesn't have to be scared of us. Let's go over and try to talk to them. Wait, Ghosty, why did you just stop dead all of a sudden? What's gotten into you? Huh? You recognize them? Most strange. I want you to explain, but first we must help this new ghost, okay? Hey there, little ghost. Hey, I know you're scared. You are brave for not running away. You know I can see you. You don't have to be afraid. I'm the one who helps all the new ghosts around here. Listen, my friend here says that they recognized you. It's very unusual to have two ghosts appear at almost the same time. I feel you two may be connected in some way. Won't you tell us what is going on? No way. This is your sibling, Ghosty. Oh, you died not knowing what happened to them. And just now in the cabin you remembered all that. Do you recognize your sibling too, little one? I know as a new ghost you don't remember anything, so this may come to you as a bit of a shock. But please, have a look at them and see if it doesn't trigger any memories that may be hidden from you. Here. I'll hold up my lantern so you can see their face. Ah, that look. You just remembered, didn't you? Look, ghosty, they've remembered you. Oh, don't cry. This is a happy moment. Shh. It's okay. I know the memories are overwhelming, but you have your sibling here now. Come on, ghosty. Give your sibling a big hug. You need to comfort them, ghosty. Just like I comforted you. You need to support them. They know who you are now. <sighs> Gosh. Don't make me start as well. I'm so happy for both of you. You thought you both lost each other. But now, here you are together again. Oh, come here. I want to share this hug you're having. Not in all the years that I have guided Ghost have I ever had this happen. The fact you both came back as ghosts speaks bounds to how much you care for each other. <sighs> you 
You know how I said you'd be able to move on to the other side if you ever found out what it was making you cling, ghosty. Well, I think you feel and know that you have found that now. Isn't that so? Yes, it was the care you have for your sibling that made you stay. I do not know how it works exactly, but in the morning, I know that I will not be able to find the two of you. <laughs> Don't feel sad, ghosty. That is a good thing. Look, you found your sibling. You can have peace now. I am so very happy for the both of you. This was always my goal. I'm so happy for the both of you. Hmm. Let's head back to the cabin now, and we can warm up your sibling and get to know each other better. I think I'll make us some cocoa to celebrate this occasion. Doesn't that sound nice? Good. Let's head back then.